Welcome back to the Sneakily Studio. Today we have up the newly released Jordan 30. Let's go back and relive the first 30 seconds when I opened the lid to the box. I pulled them out and threw them right on my feet. Still sitting down, I chuckled a little bit. My thoughts sounding a little bit like this. Yo, <laughs> these really might be crazy on the court. I eagerly stood up and took my first step. I felt a little discomfort slash stiffness almost in the toe box area as I leaned forward, but that didn't dampen my mood as I knew I could break that in fast. I proceeded to jump and I felt the same technology in the midsole implemented in the 29. No doubt did I enjoy that setup, but I couldn't help but to get a sense that Nike could have done this a little bit more to really push the envelope and give me an upgrade that I know they're capable of. Aside from that department, we did get some tweaks to the outsole. You got the same unlocked zoom but with a different traction pattern that performed excellently on the court. To add to that, they also placed rubber grips on the insole to keep your foot locked down along with a comforting tongue and half inner sleeve. In regards to traction, this is definitely one of the best shoes I played in to date. Jordan also made a few changes to the upper of the shoe. In the words of the brand themselves, the upper is a lightweight one piece jagged upper with integrated flyknit technology. It does feel different to the touch, but you still get that same great snug fit in the one-to-one -one transition as it moves with your foot. They then place again in their own words, lenticular lens technology in the toe cap of the sneaker. This is a subtle but big change. This tweak offers a lot more durability to the sneaker than the previous model originally had. Ultimately, Jordan Bread did continue its streak of dominance on the performance end of basketball shoes with the Jordan 30. Other than that, not much more else to say, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on IG and Twitter at SneakerLeak and at isthat underscore Josh to keep an inside look of what's going on behind the scenes. GSL, peace.